What's up, everybody, man? So tonight was the first Raw post-Elimination Chamber. Also, the start of the official build-up to WrestleMania, the February 20th edition of Monday Night Raw. Let's get into it, man. We kicked off with one of the biggest guys of the hour of the show, Sami Zayn, coming out talking about his match with Roman Reigns. And he actually called Kevin Owens out because he told Kevin Owens, look, I want to take the bloodline down. But I know I can't do it alone. We have to work together. Let's do it. Kevin Owens was like, bro, I tried to tell you about the bloodline. I freaking helped you at the chamber because I did not want to see your family be the same result of what happened to my family, seeing me get beat up by the bloodline. I didn't want your family to see you get beat up by the bloodline. So Kevin Owens was like, look, I'm doing this all on my own. You are your own person. I told you I was done with you last November. I meant that. So looks like we're going to be getting more and more build up, you know, as we get closer and closer to the inevitability that is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn teaming up to take down the Usos and the entire bloodline as well. But as Sami was leaving, Baron Corbin came out and he attacked Sami, which led to a match between these guys. And this was a solid match, I thought, that had Sami Zayn get the win here. It kind of made sense that Sammy couldn't just squash Corbin automatically because Sammy's still recovering after what Roman did to him this past Saturday. So it makes sense to why they did that. Rhea and Dominic had a sit-down interview. Basically, the whole point was just to establish that Rhea will be confronting Charlotte and Dominic will be on SmackDown as well, confronting Rey Mysterio. So that will be interesting to see there. We all know what Dominic and Rey has been going at it these past few months. So obviously... Who knows? This might lead to a match between them at WrestleMania. You know, the start of that. Dolph Ziggler and Ali was next. Ziggler um, lost. No, Ziggler actually won here, it seemed like. Or was it um, Ali? But anyways, this was a um, pretty solid match between the, to, between the two guys there. Sorry for stumbling, but uh, it was pretty solid. There was really nothing more to it. Heyman cut a promo on Cody as Cody was in the ring. Um, Heyman was like, Cody, like, you're not going to be able to handle being champion. Like, 300, you know, days on the road, media appearances, you got to fly overboard, media calls, Zoom calls, you name it. You're, you're not going to be able to handle all that. You know, like, I'm, you don't have Paul Heyman, okay? Like, Roman Reigns has Paul Heyman was basically the whole point of the promo, but Pretty good segment between the two guys, but we're getting very close to the inevitable interaction between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. But Oscar and Nikki Cross was next. This match is okay. Oscar got the win; it made sense, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much there. Seth Rollins took on the Miz next. Rollins pretty much laying down the groundwork. He is going after Logan Paul, and he it looked like the Miz was imagining. No, Rollins was like, he was imagining he was wrestling The Miz because he curb stomped The Miz over and over again to, to the point where the ref had to like, all right, we got to stop the match because, dude, you, you're going to, you're gonna, the man's got kids. You're, you're, you're hurting the man, dude. You're hurting this dude. It was a really good match, though, between Seth Rollins and The Miz, though. Now, as you see in the picture here, we saw Lita come out and, Be and Becky Lynch, and they want to stake their claim. They want to go after the women tag team titles. Of course, we see, um, you know, the women tag team champions, Damage Control. They're being held as the greatest tag team champs, even though they barely defended their titles. That statement is completely laughable. I do think this is going to eventually lead to a six-man tag of mania. Um, Damage Control versus freaking Becky and Lita and Trish. I feel like that's the end game. I feel like this is just to set up that big match. So I will be very excited to see that. But, um... Yeah, the segment was all right. Bronson Reed and Chad Gable. Bronson Reed got the win here, but obviously the story here, Otis, how Otis, about to go with uh, Maximum Male Models and join them. So, yeah, and I, and I guess that means that Chad Gable will be officially a baby face, you know, because he was taking the Bronson Reed tonight. Of course, the main event, Austin Theory versus Edge for the United States Championship. This was a really good match, man, and a a really, really cool ending to the show. Um, you know, just seeing Edge back, man, continuing wrestling. Him and Theory went at it tonight for the United States Championship. And uh, like Edge said, he hasn't been in this arena in over 18 years. So in and of itself, that moment 
was special. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Lashley attacked Elias because Elias was cutting a promo before the main event. But Lashley was just like, don't mess with me. Uh, probably sending a message to Bray Wyatt. But like I said, really, really good main event. Overall, a solid episode of Monday Night Raw. You know, these next few weeks are going to be really interesting because obviously WWE has no pay-per-view. So there's going to be a lot of build-up for WrestleMania, which is amazing. Uh, same thing with NXT as well. But um, I hope you all enjoyed my Raw review. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.